रीडिंग शुरू कर दी तो उधर भी तो लिखना चाहिए तो बंद ही रखा है ना शुरू है ना सर अच्छा जूम शुरू है शुरू हो गया अपनी वेडिंग शुरू हो गई अपनी आप और यहाँ पे पता भी रहा है यूट्यूब पे शुरू हो गया स्ट्रीमिंग ऑन यूट्यूब कॉपी स्ट्रीमिंग लिंक यहाँ से कॉपी करके इसको भेजना है अपने चैट बॉक्स में डाल दो क्या वहीं से डाल दे वहाँ से फिर कहाँ भेजेंगे चैट बॉक्स में डाल देता हूँ फिर वो जो ज्वाइन करेंगे ना वो ज्वाइन करने वाले उसी को यूट्यूब के लिंक से हो जाएंगे ये अपनी यूट्यूब लिंक है नहीं अपने को व्हाट्सएप पे भेजना है ना बच्चों को चलेगी यूट्यूब मेल पे डाल दे मेरी व्हाट्सएप वेब पे चल रहा है अपने इसमें भी वाईफाई का पासवर्ड डाल लो सर अभी अभी यहां कवरेज नहीं देता वाईफाई एट द रेट 1234 वाईफाई के लिए सेटिंग्स में जाना पड़ेगा ना नहीं वाईफाई पे दबा लो ये ना हाँ ये अभी ये भी आ गई यूट्यूब कनेक्टिविटी में थोड़ा सा डीप है लेकिन ये कपिल सिंह जूम मीटिंग लिख क्या रहा है लेकिन नीचे में ऐसा आ रहा है यूट्यूब पुराना था वो तो वो कवरेज का मैंने ऐसे दिया है पार्टिसिपेशन कोई नहीं है और जो मैंने आपको व्हाट्सएप किया ना यूट्यूब के लिए फोन को दे दो इसमें चेंज नहीं हुआ क्या अपना कपिल सिंह जूम मीटिंग नहीं है ये मेरे को अच्छा लग रहा है ये एडमिट माधवी मोहरे एडमिट करने के लिए बोल रहे हैं
Şimdi bez de uyuyabiliriz dedim. Good morning, sir. Publications are to his credit. 
there is a recipient of best teacher award given by rtm nagpur university nagpur and has received other prestigious prestigious awards also for his creative writing i welcome you sir on behalf of the host institutions today sir will be dealing with unit number 1 poem 1 chimney sweeper by william black i request you sir to conduct the session Over thank you so much ma'am uh, uh, single sir please allow screen sharing sir screen sharing is not allowed sir i want to share my screen avinash ek minute no uh, yes avan yes, sir sir uh, uh -huh. screen sharing option is disabled sir ha i am i am doing i am just a minute sir, okay okay sir. okay sir okay sir okay sir usko karna hai na screen share ha unke naam par click kijiye right more और मिक को होस्ट हाँ यस यस अभी या सेवन डन यस सर यस यस ओके माधवी मैम इज माय स्क्रीन विजिबल या विजिबल Am I audible, sir? Yeah, you are audible. Clear okay, to you. Okay. I will begin. Okay, thank you. Thank you, respected Kapil sir. Thank you, Madhuri ma'am. At the very outset, I just want to thank Principal Dr. Ormila Dabi ma'am, Principal Dr. Sujata Vas ma'am, Principal Dr. D V Naik sir, and all the organizers of this online lecture series for giving me an opportunity. to interact with the students on the topic the chimney sweeper at the same time i want to congratulate respected dr kapil singhel sir dr dabir ma'am dr vandana bagadikar ma'am dr dv shethe sir dr pt pillai sir dr dv naik sir dr jyoti patil ma'am and all the other respected principals and teachers who have joined and came together to form cluster of college to initiate the collaborative activities between the colleges i really appreciate and thank respected dr kapil singhel sir who not only invited colleges from the city but at the same time he has given chance to the rural colleges like us to be a participant in that clusters so that we can also get some opportunities to work with the colleges who are working uh, work with the teachers who are working in the uh, city, uh, colleges of the city at the same time we can learn a lot from them at the same time our students will get also benefit from the teachers when they will interact with them so once again i thank all of them for initiating such a fruitful activity of cluster of colleges and i see that in future also we will do together many such fruitful events now i will once again come back to the topic which has been given to me for discussion so today i will be dealing with a poem and title of the poem is the chimney sweeper written by william blake this poem is prescribed in the syllabus of semester 3 english literature which is given for study to the students of rtm nagpur university the poem the chimney sweeper is written by william blake and it is one of the finest poem written by william blake before i begin the poem we will just try to learn a little about the poet william blake william blake was an english poet and painter also Enter. He was born on twenty eighth of November seventeen fifty seven and died on twelfth of August eighteen hundred and twenty seven. He was one of the most prominent poets of romantic, uh, uh, romantic period in English poetry. He was what we can say. Uh, he has written a lot, which goes in a fashion of romantic poetry. He did not attend formal school education. He never went to what we can say uh, went to school to take formal education. But from very early age, he started writing poems, and he was uh, what we can say quite popular among his uh, friends and other people for his poems. He was also a good painter. Sometimes, or many of the times, to illustrate his poems, he also engraved some designs. He also engraved some. pictures he also what we can say created some beautiful paintings in support to his poems at the same time i can say that he was known for his radical political and philosophical views 
he also wrote against organized religion which was present at that time he always means he was not what we can say poet who was writing uh, just poetry which related with, to the love and all those things but at the same time he tried to criticize various wrong things various wrong practices which were going on which were present during his age at the same time his poems brought out the corruption and immorality which was present during that age and the poem that we are going to learn today the chimney sweeper is one of the finest example in which he is trying to criticize the cruel practice of child labor which was in existence during 18th and 19th century in england so we can say that this man while writing the poems he did not write plainly on subjects like nature love and all other things though he was what we can say romantic kind of poets uh, though his uh, poems poetry goes in a uh, romantic fashion but at the same time his poems also in a very symbolic way criticizes the wrong things criticizes the immorality criticizes the corruption criticizes the organized religion which was present during the age of william blake Uh, when we think about his famous writings or famous collection of poems or collection of prose, I can name Political Sketches, which was published in the year seventeen hundred and eighty-three. At the same time, Songs of Innocence, which was published in the year seventeen hundred and eighty-nine. Songs of Experience, which was published in the year seventeen hundred and ninety-four. These were his famous poetry collection. At the same time, he is also famous for his prose work. the marriage of heaven and hell which was published in the year 1790 so i can say that this man who has written a lot he has also what we can say wrote poetry he wrote some uh, beautiful prose and at the same time was also very good painter you can see on my what we can say screen that i'm sharing with you some paintings i have uh, shown or displayed on the screen those paintings are created those paintings are pictured by william blake now we will learn a little about means before i start what we can say the poem before we will start analyzing the poem we shall know a little about what is there in the poem we will introduce i, I will try to introduce that particular poem with you and i think from this i will try to go little bit bilingual i will use english and marathi both the languages will it be okay kapil sir so when i uh, when we come to the title the, G, the chimney sweeper the title itself suggests that the poem must be saying something which is related to the chimney sweeper so what is chimney sweeper are but first of all i mean I, i want to tell you that the chimney sweeper is one of the most popular poems of william blake about poverty and child labor the major subject the major theme of this poem is poverty and child labor the writer tries to make a statement writer tries to tell us about the practice of child labor which was in existence during his age during 18th and 19th century england this poem the chimney sweeper is taken from william blake's collections songs of innocence the poem takes an account of the life of the chimney sweeper in 18th century england now who these chimney sweepers are to whom we call chimney sweeper chimney sweeper are those who are employed to work of cleaning and sweeping the chimneys apan asa manu shakto hai ki chimney sweeper navachi hi ji kavita hai ji william blake yani dileli ahe ki william blake yancha sarvottam kavitan paiki ek ahe ji garibi ani balashram ji ahe balakanna shramik manun je vaparla jata balamazur manun je vaparla jata tya badal आश्चर्य करणारी एक सर्वोत्तम अशी कविता आहे आणि ही जी कविता आहे ती कविता विलियम ब्लेक यांच्या सॉंग्स ऑफ इनोसन्स या कविता संग्रहातून घेतलेली आहे आणि ही कविता स्पष्टपणे चिमनी स्वीपर म्हणून काम करणारी जी काही मुलं आहेत त्या मुलांच्या जीवनावरती भाष्य करायचं काम त्यांचं जीवन कसं होतं कशा प्रकारे त्यांचं एक प्रकारे शोषण केलं जायचं या सगळ्या गोष्टींचं वर्णन करायचं काम विलियम ने त्यात करतात आहे ऍट द सेम टाइम जेव्हा आपण म्हणतो की वेन वी टेक द मिनिंग ऑफ द टायटल द चिमनी स्वीपर मीन्स द टर्म चिमनी स्वीपर म्हणजे कोण अशी मुलं जी चिमणीच्या आत घुसून आत उतरवून ती चिमणी साफ करायचं काम करतात आहे चिमणी म्हणजे जे घराच्यावर जे आगीचे जे काही काय म्हणतो आपण ज्या गोष्टी असतात त्याचा जो धूर निघतोय तो धूर आकाशात वर सोडायसाठी जे लावला जातो त्याला आपण चिमणी म्हणतोय आणि ती चिमणी त्याच्यामध्ये जी काळीक साचते आहे जे सूट साचत आहे सूट म्हणजे काळीक ज्याला म्हणतोय तर ते सूट साफ करायचं काम जे करतात आहे दोज वॉट वी कॅन सी पीपल आर कॉल्ड ॲज चिमणी स्वीपर देन आय कॅन सी दॅट 
in england at the hit i ki why those people or chimney sweepers were small boys children why the children were working as chimney sweeper during those days that we will try to find out now in, in england until 19th century young boys of 4 or 5 years of age were employed to do this particular work they were what we can say employed as chimney sweeper they were met to enter into that dark chimneys and they were met to clean and sweep those chimneys these young children from poor household of england are sold by families for money ta tumhi asa vichar karala hai ki wo 4 varshancha mulga hai 5 varshancha mulga hai apan baktoy aplya ghari 4 varshancha je baal asta te atishay chhota asta tyala chadhad bolta yet ni tyala swatah cha expressions nasta tay to maximum gosti ladun sangtoy tar asha 4 te 5 varshancha mulanna kasha prakare kuni chimni madhe utrun kaam karayla lavu shakta hai and i want to tell you that these boys of 4 or 5 years of age are sold by their own parents for the money these boys usually belongs to the poor families and these young boys of 4 or 5 years of age are sold by their families itself to the people who are running the business of the chimney sweeping and then these people who are in the business of chimney sweeping make these small children make these small boys of 4 or 5 years of age to work inside the chimneys these young boys of merely 4 or 5 years of age are made to work inside the dark chimneys why what we can say these uh, boys of 4 or 5 years of age are chosen to work inside the chimneys the reason is that since their small size made them the only ones capable of doing so the life and fate of chimney sweeper was very painful i can say that why means you there may, there must be a question in your mind that why these uh, small uh, boys of 4 or 5 years of age are chosen why children are chosen for this work then the answer is that because of that size of chimney these small boys can enter inside that enter into that chimneys and they can what we can say clean them from uh, clean those chimneys from inside that's why these boys are chosen and how these people who are working in the business of chimney sweeping get those boys those boys are again sold by their own parents to these people for the sake of money so the boys from poor household are sold to the business uh, sold to the people who are running running the business of chimney sweeping and then these people from that business make these small boys to work inside the chimneys and because of poverty because they are sold by their own parents because they can go back cannot go back to their own homes these boys are compelled to work inside the chimneys they are compelled to sleep over there they people they those boys are not able to get proper food proper facilities of living but still they are trying to exist themselves into that dark conditions in the business of chimneys we apan samanu shaktoy ee ji choti choti mula ji 4 varshanchi hai 5 varshanchi hai we tumcha manat ha pahila prashna ala asu ki sir sir he sabhi mula tanna fakt ta nivadla jaycha mothan kadun ta kaam karun ghetla jaycha nahi tar tyavar uttar apan asu manu shaktoy ki chimni madhe utray sathi je chimni cha size lahan asto hai ani tyachya mule lahan chimni madhe utray sathi lahan साइज च जे काही आकार असतो आहे की शेप असतो आहे तो लहान मुलांचा किंवा ती लहान मुलं असल्यामुळं ती व्यवस्थितपणे त्या चिमणीमध्ये उतरू शकायची झाडू घेऊन किंवा जे काही इक्विपमेंट्स आहेत जे काही साधनं आहेत ती साधनं घेऊन जेणेकरून ती चिमणी साफ करू शकतील तर मग ही मुलं त्या बिझनेसमध्ये यायची कशी हा आपला दुसरा प्रश्न राहू शकतोय त्यावेळी आपलं उत्तर असं असेल आहे की अठराव्या शतकात किंवा एकोणीसाव्या शतकातल्या इंग्लंडमध्ये जे काही गरीब लोक होते जे काही गरीब फॅमिलीज होत्या त्या गरीब फॅमिलीमधले जे काही मायबाप होते किंवा जे काही पॅरेंट्स होते जे काही पालक होते पैसा मिळावा म्हणून आपल्याच मुलांना या चिमणी स्विपिंगच्या बिझनेस मध्ये असणाऱ्या लोकांना विकायची की ठीक आहे आम्ही आमचा मुलगा तुम्हाला देतोय तुम्ही जी काही रोजी आम्हाला द्याल ती रोजी आम्हाला मंजूर आहे जे काही पैसे आम्हाला द्याल ते पैसे आम्हाला मंजूर आहे तुम्ही याला कामाला झुपा तुम्ही याला कामाला लावा आमची काही हे हरकत नाही आहे आणि अशा प्रकारे ही मुलं जी आहेत मुलं त्यांच्याही नकळत त्या बिझनेसमध्ये ढकलल्या जायची आहे आणि एक प्रकारे त्या सगळ्या अंधारा जगामध्ये त्यांचं सगळं जीवन आहे जे काही बालपण आहे ते बालपण पूर्णपणे अंधारमय झालेलं असायचं आणि या सगळ्या गोष्टी वेन ऑल दिस थिंग्स आर सीन बाय विलियम ब्लेक वेन ही वॉट वी कॅन से एक्सपिरियन्स दॅट सीन दॅट दी स्मॉल बॉईज ऑफ फोर ऑर फाईव्ह इयर्स ऑफ एज Five years of age are working inside the chimneys. Their life has become completely hell. At that time, he, what we can say, thought over it and wrote the poem. And that poem that we are going to learn today, and the title of the poem is "Chimney Sweeper." I can once again say that. So, while writing this poem, William Blake has introduced a speaker, and that speaker is an unnamed speaker. that unnamed speaker talks about his life as a chimney sweeper 
स्पीकर म्हणजे पुन्हा एकदा विलियम ब्लेक जेव्हा कविता आपल्यासमोर सादर करतात आहे त्यावेळी त्यांनी एक वक्ता निवडलाय आणि त्या वक्ताच्या वक्त्याच्या माध्यमातून त्या बोलणाऱ्या व्यक्तीच्या माध्यमातून ते आपलं जे काही कवितेचं जे काय म्हणून आपण मॅटर आहे किंवा जो काही विषय आहे तो विषय आपल्या समोर मांडतात आहे सो दॅट्स वाय युअर चोज अन अ स्पीकर अँड दॅट स्पीकर इज वन्स अगेन चिमनी स्वीपर इट सेल्फ ही इज अ बॉय ऑफ मिअरली फोर ऑर फाईव्ह इयर्स ऑफ एज अँड दॅट बॉय इज टॉकिंग विथ अस इज नेम इज नॉट गिव्हन इन द पोएम द स्पीकर फर्दर स्पीक्स अबाउट हिज फेलो चिमनी स्पीकर चिमनी स्वीपर हुज नेम इज टॉम Baker he also what we can say speaks about his fellow chimney sweepers and one of the chimney sweeper which is mentioned by that unnamed speaker is Tom Baker he explains or tells about Tom Baker he also tells about a dream which has been seen by Tom Baker and from the medium of that what we can say uh, whatever the things which are told by that unnamed speaker whatever the dream that has been seen by Tom Baker by all those things the writer the poets tries to what we can say create picture the dark background of chimney sweeping work which was going on during the 18th and 19th century in other i can say that from those two small kids tom decker and that unnamed speaker are trying to tell about their sorrow trying to tell about their misery trying to tell about their dark life which they are experiencing as a as chimney sweepers and the poem goes on in that fashion apan asa manu shakto hai ki ithe kavi jya vali chimney sweeper lokanchi vyatha aplya samor mandaycha prayatna karto hai ti vyatha mantanna kavi ni eka chimney sweeper chi nivad keleli ahe ani tya chimney sweeper tya lahan mulacha madhyamatun to tyacha dukha kavitecha madhyamatun mandaycha prayatna karto to jo mulga ahe tya mulacha naav kavi ni ithe sangitlele nahi hai ani to mulga aplya dukha mantanna aple jithe itar chimney sweeper mitra ahe tyancha baddal dekhil bolto hai ani eka mitracha ullekh to karto hai tya mitracha naav ahe tom decker ani ha jo tom decker hai to nuktach tya business madhe alela ahe kiwa nuktach tyane te chimney sweeping cha kaam suru kelela ahe त्याच्या त्याचं काय दुःख आहे तो काय स्वप्न पाहतो स्वप्नात त्याला काय दिसतं आणि कशा प्रकारे ही दोन्ही मुलं त्या चिमणी स्वीपिंगच्या बिझनेस मध्ये किंवा त्या काळोख्या अंधाऱ्या बिझनेस मध्ये फसलेली आहेत त्यांचं जीवन कसं बरबाद झालंय हाऊ देअर लाईफ हॅज बीन कम्प्लिटली डिस्ट्रॉइड हाऊ वॉट वी कॅन से दे आर लिव्हिंग इन अबल कंडिशन हाऊ दे आर नॉट एबल टू कम आउट ऑफ दॅट डार्कनेस ऑफ दॅट पर्टिक्युलर चिमणी दॅट हॅज बीन एक्सप्लेन बाय विलियम ब्रेक फ्रॉम द speaking of that one name speaker and from the dream of tom jacker and that we are what we can see going to learn in the form of a poem before i start analyzing the poem before we start understanding the poem sanja by sanja we will just try to understand what is the structure of the poem the poem chimney sweeper consists six stanzas total six stanzas are there further those six stanzas are divided into what we can say four lines each means six quatrains are there each stanza of the poem contains four lines each when we try to find out what is the rhyme scheme of the poem what is the rhyme scheme used by the writer by the poet the rhyme scheme in the poem or in each stanza is a a b b which clearly means that in every stanza the first line of of the what we can say first line of the stanza is rhyming with the second line and third line is rhyming with the fourth line rather we can say that with two rhyming couplets per quatrain means every quatrain contains two rhyming couplets means the beginning two lines are rhyming together and another ending two lines are rhyming together the regularity of rhyme scheme and meter gives the poem a very structural feeling ki rachnatmak drushtikonatun dar apan bagayacha prayatna kela ही जी कविता आहे ती विलियम ब्लेक यांनी सहा कडव्यांमध्ये लिहिलेली आहे पुढे ते सहा कडवे चार चार ओळींच्या कॉन्फरन्स मध्ये डिव्हाइड केलेले आहे आणि ज्यावेळी मी राईम स्कीम विषयी बोलायचा प्रयत्न करेला आहे तर त्या कवितेची किंवा त्या प्रत्येक कडव्याची राईम स्कीम अशी आहे की पहिली ओळ दुसऱ्या ओळीची राईम करते आहे तिसरी ओळ चौथ्या ओळीची राईम करते आहे याचाच अर्थ असा की मिस टू डिफरंट राईमी कपलेट्स आर देर की पहिल्या दोन ओळी एकत्र राईम करत आहे नंतरच्या दोन ओळी एकत्र राईम करतात आहे वेन देर विल विल बी एम सी बी क्वेश्चन व्हॉट इज राईम स्कीम ऑफ द पोएम चिमनी स्वीपर अवर आन्सर विल बी ए ए बी बी हाऊ मेनी स्टांजाज आर देअर इन द पोएम चिमनी स्वीपर अवर आन्सर विल बी सिक्स स्टांजाज अँड ऑल द स्टांजाज आर कॉट्रेन्स ओके सो वी विल मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट वन नाव यू विल वॉट वी कॅन से ऍक्च्युली स्टार्ट लर्निंग अंडरस्टँडिंग ऑर अनलायझिंग द पोएम द चिमनी स्वीपर so first of all i will read the lines from first stanza and then we will try to understand that particular stanza so 
so blake writes in the first stanza when my mother died i was very young when my mother died i was very young and my father sold me while yet my tongue and my father sold me while yet my tongue could scarcely cry weep 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 could scarcely cry weep 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 so your chimneys i sweep so your chimneys i sweep and in suit i sleep so in suit i sleep so as i have told you that the poet has used an unnamed speaker and that unnamed speaker is speaking or telling about his sorrow to the readers so in the very first stanza that unnamed speaker in the poem is telling about his life as a chimney sweeper and he says that when my mother died i was very young when his mother died he was very young very small kid at a time his age might be 3 or 4 years of age and then after his mother's death that he was expecting that now his father will take care of him he will what he can say take care of all his needs and all his things but rather miss his father did not care about him did not what he can say provided him with the things he wanted but rather his father sold him to the people who are running the chimney sweeping business his boy a young boy who mother is died just now that boy has been sold by his own father to the people who are in his running the chimney sweeping business and then he says that i came to this particular business of chimney sweeping at that time i was so small so young i was not even able to see speak properly even able to what we can say tell people that what i am feeling from inside what what we can say what are my emotions what should i do because i was not able even to what we can say speak properly and i was just kid small kid who could only cry 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 and cry we we went we but my father did not care about my crying did not care about my condition did not care that i am selling my own son and he sold me to the people who are running the chimney sweeping business and then when i came to this particular chimney sweeping business i came to know that i have to collect all those bags and that bag i have to keep all those equipments which are needed for chimney sweeping and i have to go enter the chimneys and clean those chimneys from inside and when i was cleaning those chimneys at that time the soot which was collected inside those chimneys that was falling on, on me and from top to bottom my complete body was covered with that black soot and this is my condition that's why he's saying or what we can say rather in very pathetic way is trying to tell us that now i am sweeping your chimneys and in the soot during night i am sweeping this in short we can say that there is no any particular facilities are given to those chimney sweeper boys there is no any particular what we can say comfort is provided to those chimney sweeping boys at the same time they might not have been provided with the proper food they have to work all the day inside the chimneys cleaning them sweeping them and during the night they are sleeping their bodies covered with the soot tar pahile kadve vishe bolatana apan asa manu shakto hai ki william blake yanni apli kavita kiwa apla mudda mantanna eka unnamed speaker chi निवड केलेली आहे आणि तो स्पीकर दुसरा तिसरा कोणी नसून एक स्वतः चिमणी स्वीपिंगच काम करणारा लहान मुलगा आहे आणि तो मुलगा सांगतोय तो मुलगा बोलतोय आपली व्यथा मांडतोय आणि आपली व्यथा मांडताना तो मुलगा सांगतोय की मी या बिझनेस मध्ये कसा आलेलो आहे तो सांगतो की मी अतिशय लहान असताना माझी आई मरण पावली आणि आईच्या मरणानंतर मला असं वाटलं होतं की आता माझी काळजी माझे वडील घेतील आहे किंवा माझा वडील माझी आता सांभाळ करतील आहे पण वडिलांनी माझी काळजी घेणं तर सोडा काळजी तर घेतलीच नाही पण मला सरळ सरळ थोडेसे पैसे मिळाले म्हणून चिमणी स्वीपिंगच्या बिझनेसवाल्या लोकांना विकून टाकलं की जेणेकरून त्यांना काहीतरी पैसे मिळाले किंवा माझ्याकडून काहीतरी रोजी मिळाला आहे आय हॅव बीन सोल्ड बाय माय बाय माय फादर टू द चिमणी स्वीपिंग बिझनेस पीपल अँड दे पीपल मेड मी टू वर्क इन साईड द चिमणीज आणि त्या लोकांनी मग काय केलं की विकत घेतल्यामुळं किंवा माझ्या वडिलांना पैसे दिल्यामुळं ते मला घेऊन गेले आणि इथे जिथे कुठे चिमणी स्वीपिंगचं काम करायचं आहे चिमण्या साफ करायचं काम करायचं आहे त्या कामाला त्यांनी मला चुंपलाय आणि आता तुम्ही बघता त्या की मी तुमच्या चिमणी साफ करतो आहे आणि चिमणी मधून जे सूट पडतं जी काळी पडते त्या काळी कानी त्या धुव्याने माझं संपूर्ण शरीर अगदी डोक्यापासून तर पायापर्यंत पूर्ण काळ होऊन जात आहे आणि तशाच कंडिशन मध्ये मी काय करतोय दिवसभर थकला भागला असल्यामुळे मी झोपायला जातोय आणि अशा प्रकारची परिस्थिती चिमणी सुपर म्हणून आता माझ्यावरती आलेली आहे आणि याच्याने माझं पूर्ण जे बालपण आहे ते करपलेलं आहे काळा झालेला आहे बघा तर सेज दॅट आय एम स्लीपिंग मिस माय बॉडी कवर्ड विथ द सूट अँड दॅट सूट सिम्बॉलॉजीज दॅट एक प्रकारची जी काही कालिक आहे किंवा अंधार जो आहे तो अंधार म्हणजे चिमणीच्या आतमधला अंधार आणि त्याच्या शरीरावर जी काही सगळी त्या सूट मुळे किंवा त्या काजळीमुळे जे काही आळपण आलेलं आहे 
तो एक अंधार अशा प्रकार संपूर्ण अंधारमय अवस्थे मध्य मी आता जीवन जगतो है इंडिकेशन दयाच काम सीम्बॉलिक पद्धति विलियम लेक इतने करता अपने दिता है सो नाउ वी विल मूव ऑन टू द स्टांजा नंबर टू आई विल फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल रीड दोज लाइन्स फ्रॉम स्टांजा टू ब्लैक फॉर दस इज दैट देर इज लिटल टॉम टेक there is little tom taker who cried when his head who cried when his head that curled like a lamb's back there is little tom taker who cried when his head that curled like a lamb's back was shaved so i said hush tom never mind it so i said hush tom never mind it for when your head is bare so when for when your head is bare you know that suit cannot spoil your white hair you know that the suit cannot spoil your white hair writer further says or rather that unknown speaker is further putting his point and says that now he is speaking about his fellow chimney sweeper whose name is tom baker this tom has just now came to the business of chimney sweeping uh, his parents or his father might have been uh, sold that little boy tom baker and now when that tom baker enters the business of chimney sweeping when that boy came there and these those people are made him to work inside the chimneys before that they people just shaved his head tom that young little boy has very beautiful white hairs those are like the lamb's back he has very uh, lamb's back he has very what you can say curly white hairs beautiful hairs those here are uh, liked by tom very much and when the, those people shaved his white hair those were like curly like lamb's back at the time tom started crying and when tom was crying this unnamed speaker goes near him he just try to comfort him tries to what we can say give him some sympathy and said him that okay tom please do not worry do not cry no doubt miss you you are getting a haircut your hair your head has been like uh, made uh, made bald by these people your white curly hairs are no more present on your head now but don't uh, cry about cry on this don't become what we can say sad for this because when you will enter inside the chimney to clean them at that time you will find that when that suit will fall on your body when that suit will fall on your head at that time you will find that there are no any white curly hairs those will get spoiled with the suit which is falling from the chimney ithe जो कवि है तो कवि आपका मुद्दा पुढ़ मानते अनोन स्पीकर अपने अनोन स्पीकर अपने बोलते है तो आता अपने सोब काम करना जे इतर फेलो चिमनी स्वीपर है अपना संगाइच प्रयत्न करते हैं एक नाव बो तो इधे तो मन तो इधे आता टॉम डेकर नवाच एक नवीन मुलगा जो है तो नवीन मुलगा आम बिजनेस मे जॉइन है तो सुधा आता चिमनी स्वीपिंग च काम करना है एज यूजल वेन वोज बॉयज came to the business of chimney sweeping at that time they get hair cut their hair has been made bald so that their hair would not disturb them while working in the kesan mode na tras mone kesan mode ji kali khai kajri hai ti kajri satun rahu nahi mhanun ta sagle ji ki navin mula tithe yetat hai ta ta navin mulanchi purna pane chati karayachi paddhati tithe aste hai ani ithe ha jo tom decker hai jeshe atishay ashe kam na pan purle kesa hai pandre kesa hai mulayam kesa hai ekhada mendhi chi ji paath asavi tya pathi varcha je lokar aste mau mulayam tya pramane mulayam सुंदर करली कि एक प्रकार केस टॉम लगे लहान मुला केस जेव का वस्त्र लगे चाटी करना देता तो टॉम डेकर जोर जोर लगता है एक प्रकार तो कम्फर्ट कर सांत्वना दया काम करते हैं सांत्वना देता तो संगाइच प्रयत्न करते हैं कि टॉम रड़ू नकोस आता तुझे केस चाल तुला इतके सुंदर मुलायम केसे लोग टाकून टाकतात आणि मला पूर्णपणे यांनी चाटी करून टाकलेला आहे तर त्यावेळी त्याला तो समजून सांगायचा प्रयत्न करतो की ज्यावेळी प्रत्यक्ष चिमणी स्वीपिंग करायला तो चिमणीच्या आतमध्ये उतरशील आहे तिथे उतरल्यावर जेव्हा जाडून येईल तेव्हा तो साफसफाई करशील आहे तेव्हा साफसफाई करताना तुझ्या लक्षात येईल की ज्यावेळी ती जिथे सूट आहे चिमणी मधून पडणारी जी काही काजळी आहे ती काजळी आपल्या संपूर्ण शरीरावरती पडते आणि इकडे तिकडे ती साचून राहते त्यावेळी ती काजळी तुझे पांढरे सुंदर मुलायम केस आता खराब करू शकणार नाही कारण की आता तुझ्या डोक्यावरती केस उरलेले नाहीये नाव You are crying that you, what we can say, you got a haircut. Your head has been made bare, made bald by those people. But when you will actually start working as a chimney sweeper, at that time you will find that when that suit will fall, fall on your head, fall on your body, at that time you will realize that okay, it's nice for me, it's good for me because my body has been covered by suit now. And if there would be my white hair on my head at that time, my beautiful hairs were made by. 
मेड डर्टी बाय द सूट आणि आता ते काही घाणेरडे होणार नाही हे तुला लक्षात येईल आणि तुला स्वतःला असं वाटेल की ठीक आहे माझे केस कापले ते चांगलंच झालं आता माझे काही पांढरे सुंदर मुलायम केस या काजळीमुळं या चिमणी मधला जो काही धूर आहे धुआ आहे काळीक आहे त्या काळीकमुळं आता काही काळे होणार नाहीये सो विथ दिस वी विल मूव्ह ऑन टू द स्टांजा नंबर थ्री In the third stanza, the writer says, "And so he was quiet. And so he was quiet. And that very night, as Tom was a sleeping, he had such a sight. And so he was quiet. And that very night, as Tom was sleeping, he had such a sight that thousands of sweepers, Dick, Joe, Ned, and Jack." As Tom was sleeping, he had such a sight that thousands of sweepers, Dick, Joe, Ned, and Jack, were all of them locked up in coffins of black. Were all of them locked up in coffins of black. Now, in the third stanza, the unnamed speaker further describes about the dream that has been seen by Tom Decker. Tom Decker, who had just now got a haircut, who has been completely, whose head has been completely made bare. that boy who has been comforted with the speakings of that unnamed speaker that boy has been what we can say when he goes to sleep at that time he sleep very quietly and when he was sleeping very quietly at that time tom decker sees a dream and that dream has been described in the poem in the dream tom sees that he sees his thousands of fellow chimney sweepers are there and he also takes the names of those what we can say some of the chimney sweepers who are working with him dick is there joe is there ned is there jack is there but these are the common names of english what we can say people and some of the chimney sweepers those are what we can say working with tom working with that unnamed speaker those have been what we can say those names have been taken or take, taken by tom and those people are seen by tom in the dream but problem was that those people were not what we can say alive but rather they were sleeping but they were sleeping inside the black colored coffins so tom who goes to sleep who had just now got a haircut was a little bit sad but after speaking with that unknown unknown speaker he a little bit uh, comforted and then he was sleeping quietly and in his quiet sleep he saw a dream and in that dream he saw that thousands of coffins are lying over there and those coffins are of black color and in those inside those coffins he sees that his fellow chimney sweepers are sleeping he also takes names of some of those chimney sweepers dick is sleeping in the coffin joe is there ned is there jack is there tom itself is lying in the coffin that unnamed speaker is himself lying in the coffin and there all the people are lying or sleeping inside the black colored coffins as i have told you already that william blake always what we say gives two different meanings to the readers one is symbolic meaning another one is a straight forward meaning that we get from the words in the poems now william blake very cleverly uses the word coffin or the black colored coffins and he says that those chimney sweepers are lying inside those black colored coffins and by that black colored coffins william blake wants to indicate us that wants to tell us that those little boys were completely covered with the black soot which is falling from the chimneys who have worked complete worked in uh, who, have, who have worked inside the chimneys for complete day and now they are sleeping with their bodies covered with that black colored soot that has been compared as if they are lying inside the black colored coffins ithe apan asa manu shakto hai ki tom nuktas ज्याला पूर्णपणे जसे केस काढून घेतले गेलेले आहेत ज्याला पूर्णपणे संपूर्ण चाटी केलेले आहे त्या लोकांनी की जेणेकरून आता हा चिमणीच्या आतमध्ये उतरून चिमणी साफ करायला तयार आहे तर तो जो टॉम आहे जो रडत होता त्याच्याजवळ हा अननोन अननेम स्पीकर जो आहे तो जातो आहे त्याला कम्फर्ट करायचा त्याला समजवायचा प्रयत्न करतोय आणि त्या रात्री मग टॉम शांतपणे काय करतोय झोपतोय टॉमला झोपेत एक स्वप्न पडतं आणि त्या स्वप्नाबद्दल कवी आपल्याला सांगतोय आणि त्या स्वप्नात टॉम बघतोय की त्याच्यासारखे हजारो चिमणी स्वीपर मुलं जी आहेत मुलं त्याला दिसतात आहे पण ती मुलं आता जागृत नाहीये तर ती झोपलेली आहे ती निद्रावस्था मृत्यूची आहे की काय हे कवी आपल्याला सांगत नाही पण तो म्हणतो की दोज आर ऑल वॉट इट इज स्लिपिंग अँड नाव दे आर नॉट स्लिपिंग ऑन द फ्लोअर की बेडवरती बिछाण्यावरती गादीवरती ती मुलं झोपलेली नाही आहेत बट दे आर लॉइंग लाईंग दे आर वॉट इट इज स्लिपिंग इन साईड द कॉफिन्स आणि काळ्या रंगाचं जे कॉफिन आहे काळ्या रंगाचं ज्याला आपण कॉफिन म्हणजे शवपेटी जी आहे त्या शवपेटीच्या आतमध्ये ही सगळी मुलं झोपलेली आहे आणि तो काही मुलांची नावं सुद्धा घेतोय जी मुलं ऍक्च्युली चिमणी स्वीपर म्हणून त्याच्यासोबत आता 
काम करता है तो मन डिक मेरा दिखो है जो मेरा दिखो है नेड मेरा दिखो है जैक मेरा दिखो है सभी जी कहीं मुल है शवपेटी मे बंदिस्त है लॉक्ट है कि जिथे मृतावस्थे पड़ने सारी का जोपले है इधे ज्यादा मैं तुम्हारा बोलो है कि विलियम टेक ऐसी प्रत्येक कविते एक सीम्बॉलिक सांकेतिक पद्धति ने तो अपने कहीं तरी सुचवाय प्रयत्न करते संगाइस प्रयत्न करते एक वेगा अर्थ बुझाई का प्रयत्न करते हैं इधे ज्याप्रमा मग् कड़वे लैम्प्स बैक हा शब्द वाला होता कि तो कम्पेर करते है कि टॉम्स कर्ली व्हाइट ब्यूटिफुल हेयर आर कम्पेर्ड विथ द लैम्प्स बैक कि मेढी या पाठी वी जी कहीं मुल एम केस तुलना के लिए होती कुछ तरी जी मेढी है कि लैम्प जी है लैम्प एक इनोसंस निष्पापना च प्रतीक है तो प्रमाण स्मॉल किड्स आर ऑल्सो बट वी कैन से आर वी कैन से दैट कि लहान मुल सुधा कभी निष्पाप से इनोसंस एक प्रतीक इन द सेम वे इन दिस स्टान जा Word black coffin has been used by the writer, and he says that those all the chimney sweepers are lying inside those black coffins. And in black coffins, what did he show? He showed that show bit in chart. What did he show? He showed that the kaya color of show bit is also jiva. Kabi sanga isa prayatna karta hai ki aur Tom the dream mein de bhakto hai. Kabi he sucho ho bhakto hai ki divas bar ya chimney cha atma de kam karun karun jitai kari ki wa kajari the tum sante hai ya kajari mohot ansa sampur mein shari kaya dalle la hai. Aur ya kaya shari ra subhatas raatri the mulo ki thakle liye asta hai. दुसर दिवसी उठन अपनी वेग पद्धति काम लगता है कुछ तरी तो सुचवत है कि एक प्रकार अंधारमय पूर्णपने कालोख जीवन चिमनी स्वीपिंग बिजनेस मध्य मिला सो दिस इज ऑल विच हेज बीन विच द राइट ऑफ टेल इन दर्ड स्टांज नाउ वी विल मूव ऑन टू द स्टांज नंबर फोर ब्लैक फॉर द राइट एंड बाय केम एन एंड जी And by came an angel who had bright key. By an angel who had bright key, and he opened the coffins and set them all free. And he opened the coffins and set them all free. Then down a green plain. Then down a green plain, leaping, laughing, they run. Then down a green plain, leaping, laughing, they run and wash in a river and shine in the sun. And wash in a river and shine in the sun. So in the fourth stanza. dream has been further explained by the unnamed speaker and he says that in the dream tom decker who has seen that thousands of chimney sweepers are lying inside the black coffins in the same dream he further sees that an angel came over there that angel is holding a bright key in his hand and with that bright key that angel opens all those black coffins and when that black coffins are opened by the angel All the boys, all the what we can say, kids who are lying inside that block, black coffins, whose bodies are covered with the soot, those people are set free by that angel. And then, when those all the chimney sweepers were set free by that angel, the people just for the children just come outside those black coffins and they started running on the green plain. Running on the what we can say uh, greenery, which they just came out of that particular room in which they are sleeping, that particular place they were living until now. They just leave that place and come on the green plain. They started running, laughing, and merry, merry making and playing with each other. They just ran very happily because now they are free. Now they are what we can say. Uh, nobody will compel them and once again take them back and make them work inside the chimneys. And when they people, when those children saw saw a river in that river, they washed themselves all the blackness, all the What we can say, suit that has been covering their bodies has been completely clean now, and their bodies are shining in the sun. So the dream is further explained by the writer. In that dream, those chimney sweepers are set free by that angel, and now these boys, these what we can say, young children are no more in need to work inside the black chimneys. प्रयत्न करते टॉम डेकर जे कहीं स्वप्न है स्वप्न पुढ़े इलेबरेट करते स्टेप तो संगत है स्वप्न मे टॉम डेकर बगत है कि एक देवदूत तिथे ये देवदूता ने तुम्हें चित्र मे बहू शकता है कि देवदूता ने एक चाबी पकड़ने की ती चाबी घेन तो जो देवदूत है जे ब्लैक कॉफिन्स है तेज जो सगे जे कहीं ब्लैक कॉफिन्स जे बाहर बंद है कॉफिन सगे तो शवपेटा का उघड़ो है शवपेटा उघड़ता जी चार वर्ष वर्ष जी लहान मुल है मुला एकदम आनंद होते तिथुन बाहर निकत है 
आणि बाहेर निघाल्यावर तो ज्या जागेवर काम करतात ती जागा ते सोडून देतात आणि त्या जस्ट रनिंग ऑन द ग्रीन पेन की हिरवा गाळ जो एक धवताळ प्रदेश आहे एक ग्राउंड आहे त्या ग्राउंड वरती मस्त ते धावायला लागतात आहे खेळतात आहे हसतात आहे एकामेकांसोबत एक प्रकारे काय आपण मजा करतात आहे आणि जेव्हा त्यांना एक नदी रस्त्यामध्ये लागते आहे त्या नदीमध्ये त्यांच्या अंगावर जी काही सगळी काळी किंवा काजळी साचलेली आहे चिमणी साफ करतानाची ती काजळी ते संपूर्णपणे धुवून टाकतात आणि सूर्यप्रकाशामध्ये त्यांचं जे काही बॉडीज आहे त्या बॉडीज आता शाईन करतात आहे चकाकतात आणि पहिल्यांदा त्यांना जाणीव होते आहे की आपलं शरीर काळ नाही आहे आपलं जीवन काळ नाही आहे किंवा फ्री नाव आपण आता स्वतंत्र आहोत आणि आता आपल्याला कुणीही परत त्या बिझनेसमध्ये वापस घेऊन जाणार नाही आहे सो इन शॉर्ट वी कॅन से दॅट इन स्टांजा नंबर फोर व्हॉट एव्हर इन अ सिम्बॉलिक वे विलियम ब्लेक वॉन्ट्स टू टेल अस दॅट व्हॉट एव्हर द हिडन डिझायर्स ऑफ दोज ऑल दोज बॉयज वर वर्किंग एज चिमनी स्वीपर्स दॅट हॅज बीन टोल्ड बाय द रायचर दो दिस यंग बॉयज वर कम्पेर्ड टू कम इन द बिझनेस ऑफ चिमनी स्वीपिंग दो दिस यंग बॉयज आर व्हॉट यू कॅन से कम्पेर्ड बाय दोज पीपल टू एंटर द चिमनीज अँड वर्क इन साईड दोज चिमनीज फॉर कम्प्लीट डे दर बॉडीज आर कवर्ड विथ द सूट इट्स नाव दिस boys have an inner desire to get free from this work but whenever they are trying to go back to their families their families are once again sending them sending sending them back to the chimney business people because they have been already sold to them so that's why they are not able to get free from this business but in the dream they are thinking that they are getting free ke ek devadut yeto hai to devadut amala ithun sodon neto hai ani ata ami swatantra hot ata ami amcha paddhatini vagu shakto hai ani kuthe tri ji kai sagi kalik या चिमणी सिमिंग मुळे आम्हाला मिळालेली आहे ती आता आम्ही धुवून काढलेली आहे आणि आमची शरीर प्रकारे चकाकतात की विलियम ब्लेक म्हणतो की एकदा जर का ती स्वतंत्र झाली तर त्यांची आंतरिक इच्छा जर पूर्ण झाली तर आपोआपच त्यांचं जे काही जीवन आहे ते जीवन त्यातला अंधार संपून जाईल आणि एक प्रकारची चकाकी आहे एक प्रकारची चमक जी आहे ती त्यांच्या जीवनामध्ये आल्याशिवाय राहणार नाही सो नाव वी विल मूव्ह ऑन टू द स्टांडिया नंबर फायव्ह Black for the rights, then naked and white, all their backs left behind. Then naked and white, all their backs left behind. They rise upon clouds. They rise upon clouds and sport in the wind. They rise upon clouds and sport in the wind. And the angel told Tom, and the angel told Tom, if he would be a good boy, if he would be a good boy, he would have God for his father and never want joy. he would have god for his father and never want joy in his four lines now the dream has been further explained and then these naked boys who have just now taken bath in the river who have just now what we can say clean themselves not a single what we can say dot of uh, suit is there a uh, chimney suit is present on their body now and their bodies are shining in the sun so these naked boys who are looking uh, those white bodies are shining they have just now left their bags behind bags means whatever the bags they were carrying with them when they were going on the business of the chimney sweeping those bags are no more with them they are just free now there is no any uh, compulsion on them to go once again for uh, uh, chimney sweeping work so they people who are naked who are white who are shining they have left their bags behind now and then they are just rising upon the clouds they are just flying over the clouds they are sporting with the wind ki janu ka ye ji lahan mulo ji nukti jata tya angel ni tanna tya black coffin madun shav betan madun mukt kelela ahe ki mulo ata saira barat hawat ahet khelat ahet palat ahet maja karta ahe tanni apne je kai bags ahet ja bag madhe sugi sadhan samguri bharleli aste chimni saaf karaychi tya sagya sodun dile ahet mage and they are quite confident that ki ata aplyala ya bag la kuni hi hat lav denar Now, yeah, that's why they are just what we can say flying over the clouds they are just what we can say sporting with the wind ki have she spardha karat ki mula ata sahira vara padta ta padta ta kiwa ta dagan var swar hun ata udat hai ashi kalpana kiwa ashi drushti ata kavi aplyala sangto hai that dream has been seen by tom decker and then that angel now come to tom and that angel speaks with tom and that angel tells tom that okay tom i have set you free all of you and now i want to tell you that if tom would be a good boy if all these people will behave like a good boys then he, that angel speaks to tom that if tom would be a good boy if he will behave like a good boy then he would have god as his father and he will what we can say never become sad in his life ki tom jo hai ta tom jo ata to devdut ito ahe ki sagla dosh tom bolto hai tom adishe anandi hai ani devdut bak tom jo hai utte shi bolto hai ani tom la devdut sangto hai ki tela samjhun sangayacha prayatna karto hai ki bak tom jar tu ek changla mulga banun rahilas 
जर तू चांगल्या पद्धतीने वागलास तर तुझं वर्तणूक चांगली राहिली जर तुझं काम तू इमाने इतपारे चांगल्या प्रकारे करत राहिलास तर गॉड वुड बी युअर फादर की देव तुझा वडील बोलले की नो डाऊट युअर फादर हॅज होल्ड यू टू दिस चिमनी स्विपिंग बिझनेस ही हॅज मेड यू टू वर्क inside the chimneys but now if you will behave like a good boy if you will do your work properly then god will become your father ki dev tujha rakshan karel dev tujha vadil banela hai ani tula jivanat kadhi hi dukha yenar nahi tula ananda chi kami rahnar nahi so once again as i have told you that blick here also gives us a symbolic meaning and he is saying that angel came comes over there angel what you can say comes with a key in his hand angels opens that black coffin angel set free all the what we can say chimney sweepers and then the people are uh, then those boys are running here and there they are playing with each other they are laughing they are just what we can say flying over uh, over the clouds they are uh, sporting with the wind but at the same time that angel come near tom and speaks with tom and tom she, uh, that angel tells tom that if tom will behave like a good boy the three ब्लेक आपल्याला एक प्रकारे सांगायचा प्रयत्न करतोय की देव सुद्धा त्या लहान मुलांना समजवून सांगतोय की बघ टॉम तू चिमनी स्वीपर म्हणून तुझं काम जर चांगलं केलं तर देव तुझ्या सोबत राहील आणि तुला कधीही दुःख मिळणार नाही रायदर वी कॅन से दॅट दीज लिटल बॉईज आर कम्प्लिटली हेल्पलेस ते तर स्वतःची मदत करू शकत नाही अँड दॅट्स वाय इन साईड देअर माइंड दे आर thinking about something no doubt physically they are completely tortured in the chimney sweeping business their bodies are completely tired by working for whole day inside the chimneys but psychologically also mentally also they are so pressurized that inside their mind inside their heart they have accepted that god has chosen this type of destiny for us and we have to accept our lord ki kuthe tari ki jike mula hai ji prakar cha sharirik pressure kiwa sharirik यातनांवरून तर जातच आहेत पण त्याचवेळी कुठेतरी मानसिकरित्या देखील ही खचलेली आहेत आणि त्यांच्या खचलेल्या मानसिक अवस्थेने या गोष्टीचा स्वीकार केलेला आहे की कदाचित देव आणि देवानेच आपल्यासाठी अशा प्रकारच्या भाग्याची निवड केलेली आहे आणि जर आपण आपलं काम किमाने इतवारे करत राहिलो तर कदाचित देव आपल्या सोबत राहील असं एक वेगळं स्वप्न टॉन काय करतोय बघतोय आणि कुठेतरी तो देवदूत दॅट एंजल ट्रायज टू मेक हिम अंडरस्टँड दॅट इफ ही विल डू हिज ड्युटी प्रॉपरली देन गॉड विल रिमेन ऑलवेज विथ हिम हा संदेश किंवा हे इंडिकेशन विलियम ब्लेक या ओळींवरून द्यायचा प्रयत्न करतात आहे नाव वी विल मूव्ह ऑन टू द लास्ट स्टांजावर द सिक्स स्टांजा ऑफ द पोएम हार्म दे Um, so in the last stanza or concluding stanza now this unnamed speaker is ending his point whatever the argument william blake is trying to place before the readers in the form of speaking so those uh, that unnamed speaker has been ended now and then that unnamed speaker tells us that tom now awoke he what we can say uh, when he rose in the dark in very early in the morning the people have to what we can say rise from their bed because they have to go to clean the chimneys so that's why tom when he saw that dream after some time he awoke it is very dark outside and early in the morning he has to prepare himself for going to the work of chimney sweeping and that's why he says that and so tom awoke and we rose in the dark because it was very dark outside but it was morning for us because we have to prepare ourselves we have to collect our equipments and go for the sweeping work and got with our bags and our brushes to work we just what we can say packed our bags we kept all our brushes and all our equipments which are needed for the chimney sweeping work this was very useful just before some time tom has seen a dream in that dream he saw that thousands of uh chimney sweepers are lying or sleeping inside the black coffins and angel comes over there angel is holding uh, and that angel is holding a key uh, with that key those all the thousand chimney sweepers are set free and now they are what we can say completely free from the business of chimney sweeping they are just what we can say merry making merry making laughing playing with each other they are riding on the clouds they are playing with the wind but after some time when that dream is over when they came back to the reality when they rise in the morning they find that they are at the same place there is darkness 
outside in the atmosphere, but now they have to pack their bags, they have to keep their brushes properly, they have to collect their equipments because it's time for the work. अगदी थोड्या वेळापूर्वी या मुलांनी किंवा टॉम टेकरने एक स्वप्न बघितलेलं असतं त्या स्वप्नात तो बघतोय की सगळेच्या सगळे चिमणी सुपर मुक्त झालेले आहेत त्यांना आता काम करायची गरज नाही त्यांच्या बॅग्स आता मागे पडलेले आहेत आणि अतिशय आनंदाने ते जगत आहे ते स्वप्न भंगत किंवा ते स्वप्न तुटत आहे ज्यावेळी टॉम काय होतोय जागा होतो आणि तो जो नेम स्पीकर आहे तो आपल्याला सांगतोय की अजूनही जेव्हा आता आम्ही उठलेलो आहोत सकाळ झालेली नाहीये बाहेरच्या वातावरणामध्ये अजूनही अंधार गाठलेला आहे पण नाही आमच्यासाठी की रात्र नाही आहे आमच्यासाठी आता सकाळ झालेली आहे आम्हाला पुन्हा एकदा आमच्या बॅग्स पॅक करायची आहेत त्यात ब्रश ठेवायची आहेत बाकी सगळी साधनं ठेवायची आहे आणि त्या बॅग आमच्या खांद्यावरती घेऊन आता आम्हाला काय करायचं आहे वी हॅव टू गो टू गो फॉर अवर चिमणी बिझनेस तुम्ही ते चित्र बघू शकताय की त्या मुलाचा जो काही चेहरा आहे मी तो कवटी म्हणून वापरलेला आहे तिकडून आणि ते कवटी काय करताय दॅट इज नॉट अनहॅपी रॅदर इट्स स्मायलिंग की त्या कवटी मधले जे काही दोन दात आहे ते हसू आपल्याला दाखवत आहे की कुठेतरी ते ड्रीम संपून ते रियालिटी मध्ये परत आले आहे अँड दीज स्मॉल बॉयज as if they are expect i mean they accepted they have what we can say thought that no doubt this is our life this is our work and we have to do it properly though the morning was cold to so, unnamed speaker sangto ki outside there is very cold ani tya cold vatavarna madhe atishay mhanje ekada manus khup kai ussahi rahu shakat nahi though the morning was cold tom was happy and warm but still tom was looking very happy he was what we can say very comforted now he was not crying now he was very what we say looking satisfied now there was no any uh, signs of sorrow or sadness were there on his face and he was very happy and warm and with that warmth with that happiness he was ready to do his duty because he he knew that so if all do their duty they need not to fear harm because tom just now has seen a dream in that dream he has seen a seen an angel that angel has come to tom and that angel has told tom that okay tom just listen to me if he would be a good boy if he would do his work properly if he would he would live like what we can say a good boy then god will be his father and he will never face any harm and that assurance tom has got from that angel that assurance he has got from the god and that's why he is looking very happy and warm and without any fear he knew that if at all i will do my duty properly then there is no any fear of harm to me and tom has just now collected his bag packed his bag and he's ready for work and that's why the picture that has been displayed on my screen you will see that a small kids picture is there but in place of we can say uh, face that skull is has been human skull has been used and that skull is laughing कुठे तरी हे सगळं स्वीकारून हा जो काही मुलगा आहे तो मुलगा आनंदाने काय करतोय की व्हेरी हॅपिली व्हॉट एव्हर द ट्रुथ दॅट हॅज बीन एक्सेप्टेड बाय दॅट पर्टिक्युलर बॉयज ऑर पर्टिक्युलर चिमनी स्वीपर सो आय कॅन से दॅट विलियम ब्लेक इन द कन्क्लुडिंग लाईन्स ऑफ द पोएम टेल्स इज दॅट boys who are of four or five years of age those boys have accepted that this is our life this is our fate and we have to just work accordingly there is no any freedom no any rescue from this work and if at all we will do our duty properly if at all we will do our uh, work without any problem if we behave like a good boys then only there will be no any harm to our life because that assurance has been given by the angel to them lastly we can say that these small kids or helpless boys have accepted their lot or rather william plex want to indicate us that ki kuthe tari ya lahan mulanni swata cha je kai satya ahe astitva ahe swata cha je kai jivan ahe kiwa chimni super manun janna je kai kaam karaycha ahe te ata swikarlela ahe because they cannot go back to their होम ते त्यांच्या घरामध्ये आता परत जाऊ शकत नाही घरी गेले की पुन्हा एकदा त्यांचे पालक ज्यांनी त्यांना ऑलरेडी विकून टाकलेला आहे पुन्हा एकदा त्यांना या बिझनेस मध्ये आणून टाकून देतील आहे आणि इफ एट ऑल दे आर नॉट रेडी टू वर्क ऍज चिमनी स्वीपर्स हे बिझनेस वाले लोक त्यांना तिथून हाकलून देतील आहे आणि त्यांच्या जीवनाचे जगण्याचे जीवनाचे खाण्यापिण्याचे काय होतील आहे वांदे होतील दॅट्स वाय दे आर वॉट वी कॅन से थिंकिंग दॅट दिस इज अवर लॉट दिस इज अवर लाईफ दिस इज वॉट वी कॅन से वी हॅव टू वर्क फॉर होल डे इन साईड द चिमनीज वी हॅव टू क्लीन द चिमनीज अँड वेन वी विल कम back to our living place during night at that time we have to sleep just like this ki ashas prakare aapla jivan je hai te ata aplyala vyatit karaycha hai ya bhavane sah kuthe tari ki ji kai ji mula hai ki mulanni hi satya ata swikarla hai and that's why tom says that tom who what we can say a woke in the morning whether there is darkness outside but he still packs his bag collects his brushes and he is ready for work and he is what we can say no signs of uh, sadness or sorrow are there on his face and because he knew that 
at all he will do his duty proper properly and there is no any harm to him then then there is no any problem uh, will be there in his life because that assurance has been given by the angel so with this all the six stanzas has been over now we will discuss few other points which are related with the poem symbolism in the poem the chimney sweeper so various words are used by william blake with two different meanings the first word that comes in a symbolic way is lamp the writer uses the word lamps back in the poem and he wants to what we can say that the poet compares child's hair with hair on the back of the lamp and here by using that word lamp william blake wants to symbolize that symbolize innocence ki kuthe tari je mendi matla lok hai nishpap pan ahe tya nishpap pan cha comparison tachi tulana kuthe tari lamb sorry william blake je ahet te tya mula cha dokya varti je pandre kurade mulayam kes ahet tanche shi to karu ichhito hai and blake wants to tell us that how that innocence is corrupted because of the cruel practice of chimney sweeping next the word which has been used by me soup the soup as soup gets in the children's hair and makes it dirty suit in this poem symbolizes sins which corrupt life and make it polluted ki suit ha shabd baraas way lamb ni vaparle like your lamb uses the word suit and by using that word suit which is falling from the chimneys and with that suit all the body all the hair of those uh, chimney sweeping boys are covered he wants to symbolize that he wants to tell us that he uses that words for the sins and corruption that has been completely spread in the human life and corruption or the way of life immorality immorality of life that makes those small children work inside the darkness of the chimneys next word that has been used by lamb is white hair the color white stands for purity innocence and cleanliness at the same time that curly white hair of tom in this poem expresses the purity innocence of the what we can say children ki lahan mulancha jo nishpap pana hai tancha ji kai pavitra hai tancha ji kai clean swachh vagna hai tyasathi tani white hair kyo white hair shabdacha upyog kya karte mare to karto hai the word black coffin says as i have already told you that tom jake sees a dream in that dream he sees that thousands of fellow chimney sweepers are lying inside the black coffins that black word what we can say indicates the gloom dark and bad stuff in the same way the black coffins are used by william blake in order to tell us that in order to show that how those people or how those children life have been made black made dark by those chimney sweeping business and when the people come back after working for complete day inside the chimneys all their bodies are covered with the black suit and covering those bodies with that black suit in that same condition the people go to their bed to sleep because they are so tired that and just what we can say they are not in a facility for them to clean themselves to what we can say comfort themselves ki kuthe tari ki ji mula ji mula divas bhar te chimni cha atmade kaam karta te tancha sampurna sharir te chimni madun padnara jo kai काजळी आहे त्या काजळी माखेल असत आहे ते धुण्याची ती वॉश करण्याची देखील सुविधा त्यांना तिथे नसते आणि तशाच काळ्या भोर शरीराने ती झोपी जातात आहे अँड दॅट to clear that particular point to picture that particular point the word black coffin has been used by writer in the poem next word is bright key an angel which comes in the dream of tom decker that angel is carrying the white tree white what we can say white or a bright key in his hand that he contains the message of freedom all those boys who are working as chimney sweepers they have come from poor household their parents have sold them to the chimney sweeping business people and they are compelled to work as chimney sweepers they are not going to be willingly doing this work and they want to get free from that particular chimney sweeping work and that's why a dream has been seen by that uh, seen by tom decker and in that uh, dream that man or that uh, boy sees that all his friends or fellow chimney sweepers are lying or sleeping inside the black coffins and an angel comes over there who has bright key which is symbol of mercy of god and with that bright key angel opens all those black coffins they are all set free and they are they have been brought to the light and freedom so the bright key in the poem indicates or shows for pictures the freedom for the chimney sweeping boys ki ji kai chimney sweepers hun kaam karnari mula hai ki mula tari jabardasti ni kaam kart astil hai pan atmade kuthe tari tanna asa vatte ki nahi amala ithun jaycha hai amala swatantra hove amala ithe atkun rahaycha nahi hai ani 
कुठे अडकून राहायचं नाही त्याची जी काही भावना आहे ती कुठेतरी ऍट द बॅक ऑफ देअर माइंड कंटिन्युअस प्रोसेस इज देअर कंटिन्युअस थॉट्स आर कमिंग इन साइड देअर माइंड अँड ऑल दोज थॉट्स आर अपियर्ड एज अ ड्रीम आणि त्या ड्रीम मध्ये त्या स्वप्नामध्ये टॉम असं बघतोय की आम्ही सगळे आता स्वतंत्र झालोय आम्हाला पुन्हा एकदा या चिमणी सुटिंग बिझनेस मध्ये आता काम करायची गरज नाही आहे अँड दॅट इंडिकेशन हॅज बीन गिव्हन बाय द राईट की सो वाईल कन्क्लुडिंग द पोएम आय कॅन से दॅट वेन वी थिंक अबाउट द मेजर थिम्स ऑफ द पोएम वी कॅन से misery death and hope are what we can say major themes of chimney sweeper means of the what we can say young boys of four five of five years of age then while working inside those dark dark chimneys living in that black background or black situations sometimes these people are these boys are also meeting their death at the same time hope that has been shown in the form of a dream that has been seen by tom so that's why i'm saying that the misery death and hope are the major themes of the of the poem chimney sweeper then i can say the poem presents the misery of miseries of children as chimney sweepers and their contentment in life so every boy in a child childhood is a free spirit there are no any worries no any problems no any what we can say strong or the big desires he just or the children just what we can say behaves and uh live as if their own will says ki kuthe tari lahan mul je asta kiwa balpan je asta balpani kuthlai prakarche vichar ichcha akanksha kiwa moti moti swapna nastat hai fakta ala do divas atishe anandani jagaycha ani balpan enjoy karacha ya anushangani apan lahan mulana jagto jagtanna baktoy but those small children those boys of 4 or 5 years of age are sold by their families itself to the chimney sweeping business people and are made to enter the chimneys are made to clean those chimneys from inside and while they those young boys of 4 or 5 years of age working inside the chimneys they are facing many physical problems they are facing many health issues but they people did not care about them no any special facilities are given to these small boys boys and sometimes these boys who are working as chimney sweepers are also meeting their death they are what we can say dying over there but nobody cares from them but inside their mind always there is a hope all those small kids are thinking about to get free from this uh, this atmosphere and that's why i'm saying that this poem pictures the misery of the boys as chimney sweepers this poem pictures how they are meeting or living like the life of death as chimney sweepers and how inside their mind they are living with the hope that on one or some other day they will get free from this particular cruel business it is through the mouth of two young speakers the poet conveys his idea that one should not lose hope kuthe tari jari he sagal kala vatavaran hai do what we can say those boys are compelled to live in this particular dark kind of background but still there is a ray of hope inside their mind and that ray of hope has been displayed by the writer first of all the misery has been told from the mouth of uh, that unnamed speaker then hope has been displayed from the टॉम बेकर स्ट्रीम जे काही स्वप्न टॉम बघतो आहे त्या स्वप्नाच्या माध्यमातून त्या मुलांच्या मनामध्ये जो काही आशेचा किरण आहे मीन्स व्हॉट एव्हर ड्रीम ऑफ फ्रीडम द्या वॉट वी कॅन से वॉन्ट टू सी व्हॉट एव्हर वॉट वी कॅन से फ्रीडम दे वॉन्ट दॅट ड्रीम दॅट फ्रीडम हॅज बीन डिस्प्लेड इन द फॉर्म ऑफ अ ड्रीम विच हॅज बीन सीन बाय टॉम बेकर अँड होप हॅज बीन इंडिकेटेड बाय विलियम ब्लेक फ्रॉम दॅट पर्टिक्युलर ड्रीम फर्स्ट दे आर सीन अनहॅपी रॉदर आय कॅन से दॅट those chimney sweepers first they are seen unhappy with their job when they were what you can say brought their they were their hair uh, they got hair cut their hair their head has been made bald by those the chimney sweeping business people at that time they are quite unhappy they are not willing to enter the chimneys they are not willing to work or there they wanted to go back to their homes but when they find that there is no any option but later they accept their fate ki kuthe tari tanna maite ki ata ami parat jau shakat nahi there is no any option left when we will go back to our homes once again our parents will bring them back to this particular place and these people will once again make us work inside make us enter in the chimneys 
and that's why they accept their fate after having that vision and somehow the lives become easy for them or rather whatever an angel that angel comes to the dream of tom that angel speaks with tom angel tells tom that if he will be a good boy if he will do his duty properly then there will be no any harm and because of that dream somehow those boys have accepted their lot accepted their fit they believe that their hard work would surely pay them in the long run ki kuthe tari tanna he mahit ek they are completely helpless now ki ata amhala ithun sutka nahi ata ami ithun jau shakat nahi but whatever the assurance that has been given by an angel because of the assurance they believe that that message that promise is coming from god and if at all we will do our duty properly if at all we will do our work honestly then we will what we can say get the fruit of our honest duty in the long run ki kuthe tari ithun swatantra milaycha ha ek ekas marg hai to hunje aapla je kai kaam ahe te imane bare karna these children cannot help themselves they are completely helpless william black wants to give indication to the elders so it is left to responsible sensitive adults to do something for them so with the medium of this poem william blake wants to we can say speak about the sorrow sadness pathos miseries which are faced by these chimney sweeping boys and he wants to tell us that these small kids who are just four or five years of age they are completely helpless they cannot help themselves they try to run away from the place but once again their parents brought them back to the same place so they are just what we can say dreaming about their freedom but they are not able to do anything rather they have accepted their life dark life as a chimney sweepers and now it is left to the adult sensitive adults who should do something to rescue these chimney sweeper from their dark backgrounds from their dark fit and that kind of message the writer wants to give us the sensitive society and he has what we can say made a strong statement against the child's business against the child labor against the what we can say these boys who are used as chimney sweeper in that particular business and he wants to tell us that something should be done so that this child labor should be stopped or banned in england and i can say that this poem is a very strong statement against the cruel practice of child labor which was in existence during the age of uh, william blake it reflects the heartless separation and exploitation of children in the 18th century england and thus the poem criticizes the dark background of chimney sweeping and child labor in 18th century england and blake somehow tries to make his share as a as a sensitive adult that what a society can do what a adult people can do these small kids cannot fight for themselves they are completely helpless from their dream they want to they have expressed their uh, wish of getting free from this business and now there is up to the sensitive adults up to the people sensitive people up to the sensitive society the society society should do something so that these boys can be rescued from the cruel business of cruel practice of child labor and thus this poem according to me is a what we can say very strong statement against the cruel practice of child labor which was in existence during the 18th century england and with this i complete my uh, analysis of the poem i hope you might have understood Thank you, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, sir explained the poem very effectively, and he explained the poem in detail. He discussed the structure of the prescribed poem along with its matter in a simple way and really very effectively. Thank you so much, sir. On behalf of the host institutions, I would like to express humble thankfulness to you, sir. Uh, we will meet. uh the next station tomorrow mm -hmm. at the same time thank you so much have a very thank nice you, day. thank you thank you yes. okay thank you saban okay sir thank you thank you so much wonderful presentation really happy thank you. Thank you, yeah yeah thank you